Well, as you can see, it's pretty windy out here. And this is a typical day for being out on the prairie. Uh, it's always windy. I'm Karen Smithcox. I live in Sullivan, Illinois, Moultrie County, right smack dab in the middle of the state. Max and I had always considered having to diversify our 360 acres. One evening we were sitting here at our house and someone knocked on our door. The representative came in and he got talking about the renewables. And then it was like, it piqued my interest. Max and I did a lot of talking and there was a lot of soul searching there too because Max and I grew up on, in farm families. You don't sell land. You don't take land out of production. With the wind turbines though, it made sense enough because it only takes out of production one acre. And there's not another type of business that would take one acre out of your 360 acres that could would provide a good enough second income to even think about doing. From the very beginning, Max and I's concern was his daughters being able to keep the farm ground and keep it in the family. As one of my pillows over there says, family is everything. His father and mother worked, saved, scrimped, saved to buy the land. It wasn't given to them. They bought the land, but they wanted the right to give it to their granddaughters who they loved. We had heard different things that the county was considering, the different sightings, but they just decided the board to ban any kind of wind at all. First it was shock, then it was, I got tort. They're taking away our rights to improve our land. That's just against all principles of the United States of America. And for this county board to say, no, you can't do that, was a slap in the face. Each resident in Moultrie County would benefit because if the wind turbines come in, they would produce so much more tax revenue schools probably wouldn't have to raise taxes for a long time. A lot of people say, no, we don't want the turbines because we don't want to look at them. <laughs> okay, then don't look at your high school falling apart. Don't look at kids struggling because they don't have the right teachers. I have a grandniece who's autistic. I would like to see her have a a teacher that knows about autism. I got online, read the CJA, the Climate and Equity Equitable Jobs Act, and I looked up the sponsors because, okay, you want this here, I want this here, but the county says no. So I emailed every single sponsor of the bill, and one of them what put me in contact with an advocate in Springfield. And then that's when things started rolling because they realized, okay, they passed CJA, but if the county can take away property owners' rights, then how are these turbines gonna be built? They got together and started talking, I guess, and realizing, hey, we gotta do something to help the property owners. Today, we have a state law that's gonna help the landowners and the counties. The county still has to have the permits. We have, the wind companies have to go through the county boards with the permits, the siting. The bill was just giving the rights back to the landowners that tells the landowners, hey, you can 
diversify your farm ground so you can have the next generation and the next generation to keep the ground. I mean, family and farming is intertwined for generations and generations, and we're hoping to keep it that way.